Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Ken Slusher, N2DF, uh, um, Delta Foxtrot. And he says, hi, Dave, my concept of a G5RV antenna is a dipole type. Note he says dipole type antenna that is used in conjunction with a wide range tuner or transmatch and open wire feed line that presents a reasonable SWR to the transmitter and will work on all bands from 80 meters through 10 meters. Yes, such an antenna will do exactly that. Typically, the overall length is 102 feet, but I often see designs that are other lengths. My antenna happens to be 200 feet overall length for no particular reason other than having that much space between antenna supports. Does this extra wire in the air offer any particular advantage or gain? My version of the G5RV seems to work fine on 160 meters. I'm not sure if a 102 foot antenna will work on that band, no. Uh, essentially, I'm asking, is bigger better when it comes to HF wire antennas? Thank you for your thoughts. He is in Woodbourne, New York. Now, before we jump into answering uh, Ken's question here, I'd like to pay a special thank you to David Mel. He is uh, my most recent patron. And you, too, can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og now let's jump into the question the classic g5 rv has a 102 foot from this end to this end and ladder line down for a certain length and then at that point connected to coax you almost always need a wide range tuner. Okay, down here. Now, um, this is not a resonant length on any band. Okay, so what you are doing is feeding, it's sort of like a random wire on each side. It is a balanced antenna. Uh, really right here you should put a ballon, but this can also the ladder line can go right directly into tuners. Most tuners today have uh, on the back of it two uh, posts that you can connect these wires to. You see these, these two poles here, one is connected to the random wire post and uh, the other is connected to the output of a ballon. Uh, so that would be either for this or this. Now there's a ballon in here, a transformer, inside the, the tuner. One side is grounded, the other side goes to the hot, okay? So you can bring them all the way in. Now the problem is if you're not balanced just right, not tuning just right, uh, you're going to get some uh, RFI from unequal currents in the ladder line. That will make the transmitting line um, transmit rather than just act as a feed line. So if you have that problem, you may have to move the lengths around or move the antenna to a different place and so on and so forth. Okay, now note this is a non-resonant antenna, therefore it is not a dipole. It is dipole-like in that it's a long wire antenna broken in the middle. Now, if you make this longer, as he has done, right here so that it's 200 feet this way to this way, okay? Um, you've added some length, which means it will affect the tuning quite a bit. And you'll probably be able to tune that up on 160 meters. Now, does adding more wire to an antenna like this help? 
if we look at a dipole, and we'll look at a dipole from the top. Okay, we're looking down from the top. It'll have a radiation pattern kind of like this. Now, I'm drawing a realistic radiation pattern. If this were in free space, you'd have a null right in the middle. But your best directionality is out here, like this. Okay, and it doesn't transmit or receive very well in this direction, although it can. Um, now, what happens if you lengthen the dipole? Well, two things are going to happen. First of all, we're going to have, and I'm just doing this notionally because it really depends on the length, you're going to have a narrowing of the lobe plus side lobes, okay? And if you go up in frequency to like 20 meters, it's going to look like it might even have a double lo main lobe, and then you'll have other lobes out here like this. Okay, and this is true of any multiband antenna, which means there are directions where it will not hear or transmit in those directions. Of course, this is symmetric on the other side, too. All right, now I won't win any art awards here except for maybe abstract art. Um, this is what happens when you add length. Now, if you add enough length, you start getting a different kind of pattern. You start getting lobes like this with side lobes out here. Okay, so if this is long enough that you've got two random wires here, it tends to go off the end of these, okay? So, in other words, what I'm saying is the longer the wire, the more the side lobes, okay? So, in conclusion, what you have is a perfectly workable antenna, and you will work some very good stations on it, but you need to be aware that it does not transmit evenly in all directions. And in fact, in some directions, it doesn't transmit at all, nor does it receive, okay, due to uh, antenna reciprocity in this case. So um, go ahead and, and do it. It works. It works fine. If you can tune it, that's fine. If you can tune it in such a way that it keeps RF out of the shack, you're doing fine, okay? So there you have it. I hope that helps. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you can go to dcastler.com slash support. And the best option there is to just a one-time tip. Drop a tip in the tip jar. It's very easy through PayPal. And uh, you don't have to be a PayPal member to do this. Anybody with a credit card can make this happen. So until we next meet, 73.